days that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Uh, Brother Hassan, what that one say? Unless you want to read the whole thing. I was just trying to get to that verse 4. Which one? Verse 4. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. Yeah. Let me I read thought, the whole thing. Unto the yeah. angels of the church of Ephesus, right, these things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not and has found them liars and has borne and has patient for my name's sake has labored and has fainted and has not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. Uh -huh. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the, Nic the Nicolaitans. Yeah, okay. Which is which I also hate. Uh -huh. He that hath an ear, let him hear that the Spirit saith unto the church, to him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. You know, I thought it was interesting. The part always what always struck me was you left your first love. That, that was a strong indictment, but I did like the fact that it did give some characteristics of of you, Brother Addison. I like what it was saying is about the hate. <laughs> you know, it said they hated uh, you, they, their work, their labor. Uh, they challenge people that that uh, don't line up with the Word of God. Uh -huh. uh, I like the part where he says, uh, "What does they do? They did something." Uh, they hated evil. Now, I thought that was very interesting. Uh -huh. That they hated evil. See, to me, they were doing some works, Bishop. They, they were, there were some good things they were doing in that church. But they thought they just left their first love. Who's the first love supposed to be? Supposed to be God. Yeah. Yeah. Or in Christ. Yeah. They were doing the works. He said, I know that works, that thou labor, and thou patient, and thou, and how thou can't not bear them which are evil. Isn't that powerful? Well, I mean, remember therefore from whence thou art fallen. Then there's a fall in here, yeah. And repent. Yeah. And do the first works. That's powerful. That, that tells me a believer could be off track and, and, and they do believe in Christ. They do believe in him. But they lost, basically they, lost their, they left their first love. Well, I know a lot of pastors that can fall into that. Yeah. That this, this particular church. Yeah. It sounds like a lot of a lot of churches, right? You know, and, they... The you know, there's a lot of, of pastors that, you know, these televangelists and, and these these mega church preachers that, you know, have fought. They right. they they've committed adultery and 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 turned back. I mean, swagger really fits this in my in my mind. Yeah. And he did return back to his first love. Right. So. You know, uh, and you believe he confessed, he probably confessed his sins, right? You, he did, he did that openly. He opened yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So we, I don't think it's, a, it's, a, it's not an issue about asking to forgive you something that you commit specifically. Yeah, but they, I mean, you confess your sins, but I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs>
Yeah, you know, but we, like we, we split. We we either splitting hairs or we're not. I, I think it's splitting hair. I think it. I think what you you saying is that sin. There's one scripture that says sin unto death. There's one sin unto death. But there's sin that we commit, and I'm saying this. Christ is saying that I have provision under grace for you to repent and move on. He's not kicking you to the curb. We kick ourselves to the curb. We don't. He doesn't leave us. We leave him. That's us. That's why he said is if you confess your sin, he's faithful and just to forgive your sin and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. That's what the Elder was trying to say. So I, I don't want to say that he hasn't taken care of your sin. He has. He has made provision for your sin. Your future sins have provision been made for that. But you still got to recognize it. If you're going to stay in your sin, live in your sin. No, no, no. I'm not saying sin. that you, you, you live a sinful life. Right. But you. if you if 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 you if God places it, if the Holy Spirit brings it before your brain, yeah. the forefront of your brain, and 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 you just dismiss it and continue in sin, that's a whole nother subject. A whole nother yeah. subject, I agree. But what I'm saying is when the Holy Spirit brings something into the forefront of my mind that is not righteous, then I immediately address it. Yes, and that's what he okay, wants to do. And 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 I re, I repent. I turn and go the opposite way. Right. And then I thank God for delivering me from that. Yes, sir. Be 